Today I'm going to be giving you a review and demonstration of the Outland Living Fire Bowl. In this, it comes with a propane tank holder here, and you also, of course, have lots of rocks that you can go through and add into the fire bowl itself. It comes with medium-sized rocks, and there are also large rocks. There is also some spare rocks that you can kind of set aside and use for later in case you lose any of the rocks. The rocks are really lightweight, which makes transporting this very nice. And this is basically how it comes right out of the box. So there's not a, a lot of assembly required. It does have this nice little cover to put on after you're done using it, which I'll show you how to use here in a minute. And then also the instruction manual, which is really helpful as well. So in order to get this thing started, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the knob is currently off on the fireplace. It should be the default on there, but you'll want to go through and just double check that. Here's a closer look at what that looks like. And the instructions do say to make sure the propane tank is far away from your actual fireplace as possible. It's about 10 feet this hose. From here you're going to want to go and make sure your propane tank is off obviously and go through and screw on this cap right here. You want to make sure this is on nice and tight before you move on to the next steps but you also have the little propane holder which you can put underneath your propane to keep it kind of stabilized. And now we can go through and add our rocks to the fire pit itself. These are really lightweight rocks. Um, I, I don't want to call them lava rocks or I'm not sure the exact type of rocks they are but they're extremely light which makes porting this thing around really easy. Once we have the rocks installed, we can now go through and slowly turn on the propane. Now it's important to slowly turn this because if you go too fast, the, there's actually a safety mechanism on the hose there that will trip it and make it so that it doesn't work as well. So you wanna go nice and slow when you're turning on the propane at first uh, so to make sure you don't trip that safety device. Now that your propane is on, you're gonna to wanna to head over to the actual fire pit and then turn it on slightly and then take a match or a lighter and put it into the flame right there and you can see it starts right up. After you have started it, now you can go through and adjust the flame levels. You can see here by coming over to this point and you can go through and make them higher or lower. There's lots of different variables and speeds. It's very um, warm right from the beginning, so obviously be careful there, but uh, overall I'm really happy with the heat that it produces. And here's a closer look at that knob. As you can see, to the, all the way to the left is lower flames, kind of in the middle is higher flames. So it's kind of weird. The middle, the middle is the highest flames there uh, to go through and do. And you can see the different levels. And when you are done enjoying your fire or roasting your marshmallows or whatever it may be, the first thing you want to do is turn off the propane, then head back over to the fire pit itself and make sure that it is turned off as well. In order to do that, you're going to have to click down and then over to that off button. From there, you can go through now and remove the propane tank from the actual nozzle. And of course, before you go through and move this or clean it up, you're going to want to wait till it cools down. I was doing this, it was pretty cold, so it only took a couple hours, but you will want to wait before moving on to the next step and actually cleaning this up. When I am getting ready to pack it up, I'll go through and I'll wrap the cord around the base here. And then the rocks, of course, stay inside them. Like I said, the rocks are really lightweight. And so I was surprised at how light this thing was to go through and transport. And the case does a great job at keeping everything together. And so I was pleasantly surprised with the cleanup process because that was one thing that I was actually kind of worried about, but it actually was not bad at all. So overall, this thing produces great heat. It's very easy to set up. It's very easy to take down and be portable, essentially. So I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're a big camper or somebody who likes to have fires around. You can have this in your backyard while you're going camping. There's lots of different uses that you could essentially have it for.